I feel like I am constantly making videos like this these days because the kits just keep coming. But we actually have two new kits coming out for The Sims 4 today, again. This time we're getting the poolside splash kit with some new bathing suits and also the modern luxe kit with some fancy bedroom furniture. And as per usual, I am going to buy both of these and show you everything that comes in them so that you don't have to. And you know what? I have had the absolute worst week imaginable. There's just been a lot of really bad things going on in my personal life. I'm okay, it's gonna be okay, everybody's okay. But I could really, really use some good today, so I'm actually kind of excited about this. It feels like I'm getting some little Sims presents. On kit release days like this, I always just sit here refreshing my EA app, waiting for them to come out, and they're supposed to drop in one minute. But while we wait, let me show you what I'm expecting. This is that announcement teaser of both the kits, and you can see a couple of interesting things in this video. I'm not really that excited about the swimwear kit. To me, it's just kind of fine. I don't really ever care about cast kits. The pool floaties intrigue me, though. And then more importantly, in the build kit, I'm seeing this record player, and they also teased a frame TV. And both of those things really, really excite me, so I'm looking forward to the build kit the most. This Modern Luxe kit is also a collab with one of my Simmer friends, so I'm gonna link her stuff down below. Anytime there's a collab happening, I always have pretty high hopes for packs because I trust Simmers. I, I trust their opinion and their judgment, and clearly we should because just based on the teaser, it seems like this one's gonna be pretty good. Oh my god, there's so many kits now. I don't think I could name them all. If I tried to list all the kits, I, I don't think I could do it. There are a handful that I really enjoy, but a lot of these are kind of forgettable to me. <sighs> They're not out yet. I want to see them so bad, please. Okay, I figured it out. I can buy them more easily from in-game, I think. Not that anyone else has this problem at all. Well, okay, wait, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is sat here trying to buy them straight away. Well, this isn't helpful. Why doesn't it do anything? This is spoilers. I don't want to see the item list. I want to buy the kit. Okay, my constant refreshing seems to have worked because the kits are finally available on the EA app. I'm gonna buy both of them. Oh my god, spoilers again. Stop showing me the item list. <laughs> At least the kits are very small, so it's not gonna exactly take very long to download them. Yeah, it, like two seconds. Okay, well, we're done. <laughs> I'm most excited about the build kit, but I'm most curious about the swimsuit kit. So I think I'm gonna start in cast. The weird pool floaties, I, I have to know what they are. I need to know if it's like an accessory, if it's an outfit. Vivacious and vibrant. Okay, and aquatic accessories. Oh, I haven't seen that screenshot yet. This is new. All right, sorry, spoilers. Spoilers again. It is always really hard to avoid spoilers around kits because the full item list always leaks. And then it's just like everywhere in game. So I have to keep closing my eyes until I can get inside the game to test things out myself. It really isn't a big deal. I just get excited and I want to see for myself. Okay, I brought the goth family here to help us test out this new kit and I'm gonna filter by the poolside splash kit. It looks like there's four full body outfits and also a handful of individual tops. Okay. Oh no, it's just what I was worried about. It's not an accessory at all. It's a full body outfit. I was talking about this particular item a lot when the kits were announced because I was wondering if the arm floaties were like a bracelet and then if the bottom was attached or or like, is the bottom attached to bottoms? No, it's it's just one whole thing. Okay, that's fine. I do think I like the swatches. There's like some cute citrusy ones. I like this one with the dolphin. There's also a cute flamingo one. Oh, this one has gnomes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there's some plain colors as well. Oh, oh, see, Bella, you're gonna like that, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that I'm disappointed by them being attached because I wish that I could mix and match it a little bit more. The swimsuit itself is cute and the floating these are cute. I just kind of wish that I could pair them separately, but I, I understand why we can't because The Sims doesn't really have stuff like that. We have a few three-dimensional type accessories in game and they're usually like the backpacks attached to a shirt and stuff. This pool ring is kind of new. We don't really have anything like that yet. And I'm curious to see what it looks like in game because I want to know if it clips with anything because it's kind of wide. I feel like even her arm is clipping a little bit right there. I don't know if you can tell. Well, anyway, we also have this swimsuit, which I like the cutout on. It's kind of an interesting texture too. It's got some kind of funky patterns. I like these swatches. Oh, that one's cute. Okay, I like the flamingos. That's adorable. And it does come in plain white and black. Then we have this one. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the Spa Day stuff. Not completely, but Spa Day kind of has a little bit of that like wrap vibe going on to it. Maybe I'm making that up. Never mind. Not really. I take it back. I guess I thought the texture looked similar, but I was wrong. Okay, anyway, it comes in a few plain swatches. And then we have a couple variants with two colors. I, you know, I think I like this one a lot. That's really pretty. And then we also have this 
this. Ooh. Oh, we don't have anything with that sort of cut. Okay. This is like a t-shirt on top of a swimsuit. Look at the freezer bunny and pineapple one. Okay. Then we also have this one with the gnomes again. This is a cute pattern as well. I, you know, I really like this shirt. That's adorable. I kind of wish that we had the shirt as a top on its own. We might. Oh, we don't. <laughs> I wish that I could pair this with shorts because I want to wear it for more than just a swimsuit. But anyway, I like this. Then we have this plain bikini top with a couple other little patterns. Oh my god, there's so many flamingos on all of these things. It's kind of cute. It also comes in some solid colors as well. This is really nice. Uh, we have this one as well with a big t-shirt cover up on top of it. It has some kind of cute swatches. Ooh. Okay, this is my favorite swatch so far. <laughs> Why do they have so many gnomes? Every single item has a gnome swatch. It's actually kind of a fun detail. I don't know about the ombre effect on this. I kind of wish that it was all one color. I don't know. Something about it looks kind of off to me. I prefer the patterned ones for sure which is rare for me. I don't usually say that about stuff in this game, but these patterns are nice. Okay, then we have this plain bikini top. I like the back. This is really cute. There's such an interesting color selection on a lot of these. There's lots of like blues and greens happening. Then we've got this one, kind of a different cut, but same set of patterns. We got the flamingos appearing again, also in white and black. I do like this little light green color and this yellow swatch a lot. Here's another orange one. And then we also have this top. This is kind of fun. I like that mesh texture. They don't do a lot of mesh in the game. We don't really have that many things like this. For bottoms, we've got a few different bikini bottoms. And you know what's fun about this is because we have all the same swatches for the most part. You can kind of mix and match these really easily. So we have this kind of plain one with a little bit of detail at the hip. It comes in shockingly all of the same colors and patterns as the other ones do. I don't know about this pattern. I like the rest, but I don't know about this one. We also have some plain shorts. Oh, look at the gnomes. I don't know why I like them so much. It's just cute. They're all swimming. There's like a shark fin. We got a handful of other kind of pattern swatches. These are really nice. We don't really get a lot of like swim trunk stuff in this game. I think they're a good length too. Okay, we also have this little bottom with a cutout in it. It has that sort of ombre effect that we talked about me not liking, but that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'll get over it. And they all come in plain white and black, which is good because you can pair that with anything so easily. Okay, these are a little bit more high-waisted, which I prefer. Honestly, this whole swimsuit together is more something that I would wear. We also have these little shorts. These are so adorable. Shockingly, in all of those same patterns and swatches as the other things come in. You know, both of these shorts could work for like non-swimwear related things. You could wear them to like have your sims work out if you wanted to. Okay, and last we have this little skirt, which I like a lot more than I thought I would. I like the texture of the little tie at the bottom. It's not as horrible and flat some things they make, so I really like that. I'm really impressed so far. We also have a new set of nails and some kind of rainbow swatches. These are cute. They're kind of simple. They're a nice length. I, I mean, I like when we get new nail polish. We don't have that many options, so it's fun to get more. And then we also have these little sandals, like little slides. Those are also good because we don't have really anything like that either, do we? Am I misremembering? It's very simple. That's a nice touch. Okay, here's all the different styled looks that... Is that... Wait, is that a new necklace? It came with a necklace? Oh, it came with two necklaces. Oh, this one is really nice. Wait. Oh, this is very confusing to me. This is, I think, one of my favorite necklaces we've ever gotten. I think that's a perfect length. It's very simple. I'm probably going to use that all the time. And then we also have this one that's layered a little bit more with some more options. These are really, really cute. Oh, I'm very impressed by that because I didn't expect to get any jewelry. We also have sunglasses that I forgot about, so I'll show you those next. They're kind of funky. They have some nice colors too, it looks like. Ooh, I I feel like Bella would like those. Oh, I like these too. They're kind of sunset vibes. And then we also have these little ones in a sort of fun color. They don't really do that many glasses either. This is a fun surprise for the pack. I wasn't expecting too many accessories. <laughs> Wait, there's also a pair of shoes, but they're not classed as swimwear. So you can't use them by default because they're like a wedge, but they're kind of like clear plastic. These are super cute. And is that an anklet? Oh, it's attached to the shoe. That's so interesting. Okay, well, we also have like a little wristband accessory and that's the last thing that we've got. That's fun too. It's like you could use that for going to an event or something. Pretend your Sims at a convention and they've got a little convention wristband on. All right, sorry, that's everything now. Let's look at the rest of the styled looks. I always like to see the color options that they tie together because I think it's kind of interesting to see how they intended the items to be used. Some of this stuff is really, really adorable. I feel like we've kind of needed more swimwear for a while.
while. So I'm not mad about this. I'm definitely gonna use this stuff all the time. Like this is probably gonna end up being one of my more used kits just because I'm kind of in the habit of using the same like two swimsuits. So it'll be good to have more options. You know, I like this a lot more than I thought I would when they first announced it. We also have this same little pool floaty outfit for the kids and a lot of the same swatches. So you could have like matching family swimsuits if you wanted. There's this version too with a little top on it. I love, love this little fish swatch. The donuts are cute. This is like so, so much better than I thought it would be. I wonder if there's anything for toddlers. No, <laughs> no, there's not. Okay, well for masculine frame sims, again, same set and all the same swatches. I love this one. The dolphins are adorable. So like I said, everybody can match. And then we have, it looks like a few bottoms. We've got this little one. I like the logo on the top. That's kind of cute. It comes in like a bunch more swatches than I expected. Less patterns and more solid colors. Same shorts we looked at earlier again. We got those same bottoms again here. And then we also have those same shorts from before. So I think there's only one item that is classed as being exclusively masculine framed, which isn't really a bad thing. Most of this stuff is pretty neutral. Like anybody could wear this. They have the same shoes and stuff too. I'm curious what the style looks look like for you. Oh wait, you have a shirt. Oh, it doesn't count as swimwear. Why? Why not? There's two, sh oh, there's two shirts. Okay, this is cute. Oh, I actually like this way more than I thought I would. That's really, really nice. It's got some good colors. And then we have a little tank top too. I like how it's tucked in a little bit. They've been doing that more often recently and it looks good. I don't, I don't know about these swatches, these like pattern swatches. I like the plain ones, but this, the like waves, I don't, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> there's always something in the Sims 4. There's always some sort of swatch that I'm not sure about. Here is Mortimer and all of those styled looks. I am obsessed with this flamingo one. And then we also have this version. Look at him with his matching pink. This is so cute. That'll be really good to have. It's, it's nice to have more variations for styled looks, especially because sometimes you just want to give some random Sims a nice outfit. And this is like really nicely prepared. Okay. Oh, sorry, Alexander. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I feel good about this. So in total, there's 29 items in this kit, which is a little bit more than your average create a Sim kit. For example, the last create a Sim kit had 25 new items. This one is also really interesting because all of these things are very easily mix and matched. You could probably put together like a bajillion different combinations of tops and bottoms because they all fit together really nicely. I also think it's really cute how everybody can all match swimsuits because a lot of the things exist for all ages. This isn't like a mind blowing create a Sim kit, but I also don't know if I think any of them are. I'm never that impressed by cast stuff, but I think in comparison to all of the other ones, I'm probably gonna use this more often than most. It's cute, it's fun colors, I like it. I did say when the underwear kit came out that I would rather have a swimwear kit, so I guess wish granted. I like it, it's fine, it's good. But more importantly, I would like to go look at the build kit because that's what's really exciting me. I realize I literally just made a video doing this, but I actually think the Cassandra Goth is a good candidate for a room redo using this kit. Okay, just looking at this, I'm feeling very excited about the curtains, the plant, and the frame TV. I will say that this like metal frame tufted fabric isn't really my personal style, but I do really, really like the look of it, especially when you're making certain builds where it fits in so well. I will say that we have a couple things like this already that are kind of um, <sighs> ugly, <laughs> but this feels like a very upgraded version of those. Like this is a way more usable bed than any of the vintage glamour ones are, but I think that it's kind of a similar vibe. Look, I don't want to be rude, okay? I don't want to be rude, but I never use this bed. I hate every single swatch on this vintage glamour bed. The difference in these is astounding. <laughs> this one is ugly and this one is beautiful. That was mean, I'm sorry. I'm trying so hard not to be mean. Anyway, these are all the swatches. We have a super cute pastel pink. I like this navy blue. We got brown, gray, black, another gray, but like more gray, white, and also this kind of cute peachy beige color. So I'm assuming most of this stuff is gonna come in all those same swatches. Ooh, oh, this nightstand is a normal size. Sometimes the nightstands in this game are so giant, it's terrible. This one is reasonable. Oh, I like that. There's a lot of pink in this kit, I'm noticing. This is gonna be real nice for not so very. <laughs> I'm about to start the peach generation of that challenge on my Twitch stream, and this is actually really good for it. Here's that lounge chair item coming in all those same swatches. And then this one, I think is like a dining chair, desk chair that you can use. Ooh, oh, I like this. I like the low back on it. We don't really have much like that. A glass shelf. Correct me if I'm wrong, we don't, we don't have that. We don't have a single glass shelf, do we? That's pretty. They don't do a lot of glass stuff. Oh my goodness. I couldn't tell from the pictures that it had a glass base. That's really nice. Yeah, we don't really have a lot 
lot of glass stuff. You know what? I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean. Again, I'm trying not to be mean. I realize I keep comparing this to Vintage Glamour, but you look at like the vanity from Vintage Glamour and then you look at this one. <laughs> this one looks like plastic to me. In all of the colors, like the white swatch looks like plastic. I don't know. The difference in these, like this one is just so much better. I really, really like this new one a lot. I am very curious if this functions like a regular vanity does. Oh my god. Okay, so if you have Vintage Glamour, I assume you can use this like a vanity. I don't know what happens if you don't have Vintage Glamour, but there's like a whole apply makeup feature that comes with that pack and then you can use it to have your sim put makeup on. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, the makeup they do is pretty bad, but it is kind of cute. <laughs> so you can like sit here and practice speech, freshen up, and also actually apply makeup. It's really nice when kits have proper functional items in them. I'm seeing a couple more of those, but I'll get back to it. Hold on. We need to be calm and wait our turn. We have to look at everything else first. <laughs> this is the plant that I was so excited about. The Elevated Taste Planter. It has some really cute gold swatches. Everything in this pack does. I really like that. It's such a simple plant too, which is good. Like it's a nice, easy to fit places, cute plant in a beautiful elevated planter. Anytime we get a new plant in a pack, I'm, I'm here for it. But this one is really nice. Here's that art print. It's called The Moment. And I'm guessing that all the swatches are different prints. Oh, this is beautiful. I like the shoes. That's kind of unexpected. I like that. Oh, this is just amazing. I, I genuinely like every single one of those swatches. I love when they do like really nice, easily tileable art pieces. Cause if you wanted to, you could use like all three of these together, for example, and they all kind of have similar tones. That is just really, really beautiful. I love when we get new art. Art, plants, rugs, curtains. Curtains also are very, ooh. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. Curtain rod. Oh my God. These are amazing. Wait, I'm so glad they did this. Thank you. Thank you. This is amazing. Okay, so we have these beautiful curtain pieces in what I assume to be a couple different sizes. And then there's a curtain rod that you can put in the middle so you can make these on like as big of a window as you wanted. We've got a nice beige, a light pink. There's a nice blue color. Oh, these are such good swatches. There's even a plain black and a plain white. This is gonna seem so silly, but like having the black with the black metal rod and also with the gold rod is so good. Same thing, we have white with the gold and then white with just silver. And we also have this cute like rose gold rod. I'm gonna use this pink swatch all the time. I really like these. I like how they're kind of pooling at the bottom on the floor too. Most of the curtains that we have don't do that. Like all the curtains are kind of just straight. And then I oftentimes end up having them be floating off the floor. But when you like hang curtains correctly, they're supposed to do this. And the rod just comes in all the different metal swatches. Oh, that's so nice. And then we obviously have a slightly taller version of the same curtain. Okay, we also have this lovely little mirror leaning up against the wall. Just comes in some beautiful metal swatches. Look at the pink. There's so much pink in this pack. This is so good. Lieb Lifa Lerv plaque. It's a live, laugh, love plaque. <laughs> a mantra we've all heard before. That's amazing. That's pretty cute too. It's nice to have like little shelf clutter type stuff. Again, with the gold swatches. Ooh, this is like a bust. Interesting. I like that gold veining through it. Ooh, oh, that's cool. It's pink with gold paint on top. This is a fun little item. How much is that? 240? It's not even that expensive. Okay, we also have this pillow. This is gonna seem like a really, really simple thing too, but this is the kind of item that I feel like Simmers have been begging for, okay? Begging for. And this is why we need Sims collabs. Cause like Zarela collabing with them on this and being like, no, we need a pillow. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that Simmers can bring to us. It's it's just a pillow. It's a simple little throw pillow. You can put it on the floor. You can like raise it up and put it on a couch. It's only 85 simoleons. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. The perfect pillow will forever be that final touch to any room. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Okay, so it has a couple like fancy swatches, but also some sort of plain ones. Oh, that's so good. I hope they make more of these. Now that we have one throw pillow, give us like 10, okay? I do wish that there was some slightly more plain swatches on this. I feel like there's a little bit too many patterns for my liking, but considering we don't have anything like this that we can easily use, I'm not mad. I like it. The baddies bag. It's like a designer purse. Oh, that's so nice. These are some really beautiful swatches too. That's gonna be so cute to like put in your Sims fancy walk-in closets or like on their dresser. Like Bella Goth absolutely has that bag. You know she has that bag. I like how it's 520. 20 simoleons too. It's a designer bag. That does not come cheap. Okay, we also have this little lamp with a cute gold base. It's always nice to get more table lamps like this. It's got some kind of pretty swatches. Speaking of lights, we have two ceiling lights. Ooh, <gasps> whoa, that's cool. I like that shape. 
Oh, I just like how much gold stuff there is in this pack. That's really good. And then we've got a little rug. Oh, it's got some kind of cute fuzzy edges and some fun patterns on it. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. Oh, I like this one. I like the little river of gold through it. Notice how I am saving what is, in my opinion, the best for last. I've got like a couple more things to look at. Now we can see the TV. This is the new bookshelf. Again with the glass. That's so pretty. I like how it's decorated too. It looks like it's been custom decorated with the pretty items on it. And it has a nice Nice little metal frame. It comes in black, so you can use that with pretty much anything. I like how there's a couple different swatches of the gold. Like there's kind of a lighter tone and this one's a little bit darker. So depending on your room, you can switch out the clutter on it. And then we also have this beautiful dresser. It has that same simple metal frame. It comes in all the same swatches too. These things are not cheap. <laughs> These are all really expensive. It's a very fun contrast to the more recent kits that we've gotten. Like we just got the basement treasures kit and this is the kind of furniture it had. So it's nice to have this sort of luxurious stuff instead. Real quick, there is a new wallpaper. Oh my goodness. It's like a really fancy paneling. It's too bright in here. I've got too many lights. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't even see the texture on it because I put like five lights in the room. That's amazing. I really like those panels. How does it look on short wall height? Oh, that's just beautiful. Some of the swatches have some pretty gold accents on it too. Like look at this one with the fun pink on it. That's really nice. This is in my opinion what Get Famous thought it was doing. So much of the like luxury stuff they've given us before is really like, okay, I'm trying to be so nice right now, but like, come on, <laughs> come on. This is not my favorite thing. This is kind of what that wants to be, at least in my opinion. And again, this is the bonus of working with Simmers because they are so good at this. They know what the game is missing, you know? And we also, ooh, oh my God, look at that floor. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, we don't really have anything like that at all either. I'm so excited about this. This pack is way, way, way more than I I first thought it was gonna be based on that cover leak. All right, we have two things left. <laughs> Just two, and they're the most anticipated. First, we have the Art Frame TV. Transform your home into a gallery with the Art Frame TV. This flat screen TV is disguised as a framed piece of art when turned off and becomes an incredible display of entertainment when turned on. Now you can truly have the best of both worlds. Fun seven, it costs 3,000 simoleons. So this functions as a TV, but you can see it's completely flat against the wall. They have these in real life. And again, when it's off, it looks like a framed piece of art. Here are all the different swatches watches. Oh my god. The little flowers. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I'm so excited right now. I'm gonna use this everywhere. You have to prepare yourself. I am never making a build without this again. This is so good. I really, really like it. Okay, I will test that in game in a second, but we also have this vintage record player that I wanted to see. Oh, Vintique. Sorry. <laughs> Vintique record. That's cute. I like that. Combines all the simple elegance of vinyl with the convenience of modern technology in a sleek and compact design. I'm so so curious to see if this record player spins. I need to know. Okay, turn on whatever. I don't care. <laughs> but two, put on Star Wars music. <gasps> oh my god, it spins. It spins. It spins. It spins. That's what I all oh, I really, really wanted it to spin. Thank you, Sims team. <laughs> It's such a small thing, but it really, it makes a big difference to me. Oh, some of these kind of match the swatches. You know what? That's very similar to the swimwear kit swatches. That's kind of a cute little detail. Probably wasn't on purpose, but the colorways are similar. All right, that's the record player. I'm gonna use that a lot too, like in a teen's room, you know? And oh my God, she's doing it autonomously. She's gonna come watch sports. The first thing you're putting on is sports, Bella. You can't be serious. Okay, get ready, get ready. They're gonna turn it on any second. <gasps> it's just a TV. <laughs> all it is. It's just a TV, but it's so cool. That makes three functional gameplay items in this kit, by the way, the TV, the record player, and the vanity table. I mean, I guess it's all, it's all functional gameplay items. Like they're sitting on the bed, but we don't have anything like this. That is a huge, huge added detail. I think this frame TV is probably my favorite item that's ever come in a kit. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I really like that. I just didn't expect to ever get something like that. So I'm feeling really excited about it. While we're here testing, I'm kind of curious to see how those pool floaties look actually in game too. Bella, would you like to maybe go for a swim? No, you wouldn't. Okay, <laughs> please. Swim laps. Come on, jump in. Okay. Oh my, oh my God. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. This is so, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. She's in a pool floaty, but it's completely underwater. This is what I was worried about. Can you float on your back maybe instead? This, I mean, I guess it's cute for like screenshots. It's just weird. It's kind of a weird addition, right? I don't know. I like how it looks. I'm not sure about it when it's actually in the water though. <laughs> okay, this modern Lux kit, it looks like also is kind of on the high side of item count. It's got 
28 items in it. For context, the most recent build kit only had- oh, wait, really? The most recent build kit, the book nook kit, had 25. Although I guess with the curtains, it's it's like five items when it's really just kind of like one set of curtains because it's got different sizes and stuff. Biggest standouts for me, obviously, the TV. I like the bed a lot. I'm really, really impressed by that one. Also loving the record player and the bookshelf. You know what? The curtains, the dining chair, the, the art prints. This is a beautiful kit. It's got some really nice things in it. In fact, I like it a lot more than I thought I would just because I figured that it wasn't really my style, but now seeing it, I'm already planning what I'm gonna build tonight with it. I mentioned not so very, but like I've been playing that legacy challenge on my Twitch streams and I'm on the pink generation right now. So like this is perfect. And the next generation is peach and there's like pink and peach things in this pack. So this could not have come at a better time for me personally. I wanna give a huge congratulations to Zarela on this because first of all, thank you. You had some really genius ideas that like honestly are, are kind of life-changing for a lot of us players. And I, I can't imagine how much work goes into helping figure out a kit like this with the Sims team. Like behind the scenes, I'm guessing that she's been working on this with them for months and months. And it's also probably kind of scary to have your name tied to something that people are gonna make videos about and potentially criticize and stuff. So all the love to her. I'm gonna link again her channels down below if you wanna go check her out. I have this memory of me and Rayla together in like 2017, 2018. This was like years ago in San Francisco for a Sims event. I forget what pack it was. It might have been when Cats and Dogs came out, but we were like walking around San Francisco kind of exploring together as a group. And it's it's just kind of fun to see like how far everyone has come and like we're making kits with the Sims team now. It's just, it's really cool. So again, congratulations. I'm really curious to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below on these two kits. It's always hard to compare them when they come out with like a create a sim kit and a build kit at the same time because they're like completely different, both in like function and in style. So it's it's hard to like pick which one I like best, but generally the build kits always win over the cast stuff for me. They're both a couple good little kits. And you know what? It's also really hard to come after the book nut kit and the greenhouse kit because those are my two favorite ones now. So like this is kind of hard to live up to, <laughs> but it's got some really nice items. As per usual with kits, it's hard to give like a blanket should you buy this recommendation because it really depends on like what you're going to use, what you like, does it fit into your regular build style. I would definitely rank these like mid to high tier compared to the other kits though, if that gives you any idea of how I'm feeling about them. I'm gonna use this stuff a lot more than like the industrial loft kit, that's for sure. And I'm gonna be building with this kit tonight on stream if you wanna come by and hang out with us. My name is just LilSimsy on Twitch, I'll link it down below. I also have a couple giveaway codes for both of these kits, so if you wanna come by and maybe win, bear in mind, there's probably gonna be like a few thousand people there and I only have two codes for each pack, so like <laughs> let's not get our hopes up too high. But I, I do have some giveaway codes and we have a lot of fun over on Twitch, even when there's not giveaways happening. At least, well, at least I have fun. <laughs> I like my streams, so make sure you come by, it's linked down below. I'm also gonna link the video that I made about the kit announcement and the most recent update down below in case you wanna go back and watch that and hear my like initial thoughts and then compare it to what has happened after the kits are actually out. Again, let me know in the comments, what do you think about these? Are we happy? Are we mad? Do we think that we don't want this? Like, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm not mad. I'm not obsessed, but I'm not mad. I, they're good. They're good kits. Well, I'm gonna go sit with my pool floaty in September, I guess, and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. You know, I joke about that, but like I live in Florida. It's prime pool season still. It is hot outside. It is weird to release a summer thing once school started back up. They kind of missed the boat there. But like for me in Florida, it's fine. <laughs>